Så har vi sko, vi har kamerautstyr, vi har uh, nok klær dette bak. Skal du gå i den boksen? Ja. Maybe not uh, whether you are associating with the uh, open water swimming, but let's give it a try with a new, new wetsuit for the air. Yeah, the Ocean One Zero with uh, the hoodie. I think it's going to be really cold either way because it's actually minus 15 degrees now. So yeah, but let's give it a try. The cameraman. I'm ready to go into the water. I have my speedo with me and uh, underwater. Are you going to go in the water? Uh, ready. <laughs> so these pussies in wetsuits. Uh, I'm ready to do the job. Let's go. Let's go. So new year and a new wetsuit brand for the season. Uh, I've been already been testing out the, the ocean and the fjord in the pool, which is super good, great, and obviously my main wetsuit for the for the competition but it will be my first time trying out the ocean wetsuit now and you know you never know if you need it or with the, all the quarantine rules that is perhaps coming uh, this spring minus 14 degrees not what you perhaps associate with uh, open water swimming but uh, Let's test out from the boar. Do you say the boar or the boar? <laughs> I say the boar, but uh, I'm not uh, an expert in pronunciation. So. Mikal, what do you say? I the say the boar. The boar. The boar. We might have the axe with you. The axe. <laughs> oh, I forgot it. <laughs> we might have to break the ice. And a knife and some, um, some a lighter. So yeah. can maybe do something there. I think the ocean should be okay. Yeah. But all the lakes are frozen for sure. The ocean should be good. Yeah. You know the downside with swimming in salt water is that it can go below zero degrees, I think, <laughs> before it uh it's freezing. Before it freezing. <laughs> I think it can I think it can go down to like minus fifteen degrees if you have enough salt in the water. But uh, hopefully fact, the, the Gulf Stream is gonna save us today. And it's not gonna be colder than four degrees at least. So. And this uh, suit supposed to be able to <laughs> go down to six degrees. But the suit doesn't cover the face. So the suit doesn't cover the face. So I think they say that you should put in Vaseline in your face. I didn't bring in this Vaseline. A little bit okay. to keep to stay warm. But I don't think we have because the main object is a photo shoot now. So I don't think we will have like a huge layer of Vaseline in the face for the photos. <laughs> That's not a good look. Yeah, so the plan was to swim here, but as you can see, <laughs> it's not possible at the moment. Uh, so it's not often we have to go to the ocean because it's warmer. Wonder, I've actually never been swimming in January in Bergen. So I wonder if it's a jellyfish season or not. <laughs> <laughs> that has never been my kind of. What do you think? Comment below. Will there be jellyfish in the ocean in the beginning of January in Bergen? Oh, it's the water. It's okay? You can see, super tight to get it over. So hopefully, it's not gonna get any water in. This is what we call an icebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> How much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. <laughs> oh. So soon we will get the answer. How good is the ocean suit? In minus degrees. What do you reckon? It's almost like walking on the white beach, like south of oh. Spain, France. Yeah, the suit is good, but this is a real, real challenge. And I don't think my face is up for it, but um, yeah, we'll see. I'm actually really nervous now. 
It's gonna be really cold. How many cameras? How many? <laughs> One man crew. So why do you put water in the suit? Uh, because then I start with warm water and uh, the cold water don't come on in and just get completely cold. Then I have to mix with the uh, warm water and it's gonna be a warmer, I think. That's like what the bar told us. So <laughs> we'll see if it works. So just put but it in. It's not yeah. boiling, it's just warm. It's just warm, but it's warmer than uh, my body temperature, so. <laughs> it's already it's already a little bit cold. The water that you have, yeah. it's like. But you have a warm one now in the car, I think. Okay. I made for you. So. so you don't think this is like peeing in the suit to stay warm? Um, to pee in a suit to stay warm is it's working in a wetsuit, but not in a normal suit. So. Okay. Waiting for the very first strokes. <laughs> Here we go. Warm water delivery. And he got a warm one. I had like the half used cold one. Okay. <laughs> so we also need to get the gloves on the inside. Yeah, Mikhail can help. I will, uh, I will film. Take it off first. And then put the... It's super tight around the wrist, so... So no water will come inside, but it also makes it a bit hard to take on. And since it's the first time we used it, we have to learn. But, oh my God, it's beautiful here. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's tight, but it's good. <laughs> and we have a, a drone up and running. Måste du gå i vannen nu, Mikael? Jag tycker lite. Det är gott att And warm water. Oh, it's warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's really warm. Tar du allt det? How much can I get? <laughs> hey, what a little. Okay. I would just take uh, a little bit more on my. Oh, just a That was actually surprisingly okay. Like of, of course the face, super cold, but uh, the over body with the hoodie and uh, kind of the west felt uh, way warmer than a normal suit. Of course my fingers now is freezing. But I can promise you one thing, this is not like doing a photo shoot with the ocean. 1.0 south of France in September. This is real winter. Oh. Quick, quick, quick. Transition, transition, transition. Come on. Go, 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 go. Three, two. Still not going on Still a little bit Fingers are cold. Yeah. The overbody, the chest. That was good. The head, it's very good. I think if you're gonna do like a Norseland race or something, 
This is genius. Especially the hoodie. I think the hoodie is the game changing thing. And I wear it in the south. I'm not sure if you can use the gloves in North America. Not the gloves, but like the hoodie. Yeah. That's nice. Very nice. <laughs> Time to put on the Russian Bjornevita. <laughs> is it called that in English now? Uh, now it's called in English. Now it's called in English. Yeah. <laughs> Apropos of Bjornevita, this is a dead cat. 